afternoon. After the plague of the firstborn, when we were leaving Mitzrayim, it says that we requested in Parsha's spell, we requested the silver, the gold, and the garments of the Egyptians. And the commentaries explain to us that it goes in order of importance, that the silver was the least important, the gold is more important than silver, and the garments were the most important. They don't exactly explain why the garments were the most important. I mean, possibly beforehand they weren't wearing garments, they were slaves, or they were wearing specific garments that were were dirty or worn out or torn. Um, and, you know, the garments is what differentiates, differ, differentiates us from animals. So it also, now that we're no long, we were no longer slaves and we're moving up the, the, the food, I almost said the food chain, but we're moving up spiritually, you know, now we need to wear certain clothes. And then in this, and, and then later on in Parshas Yisrael, when we get to Torah again, Moshe goes out of ways that we should clean our garments, you know, beforehand. He specific, specifically says we should clean the garments. And again, our garments didn't didn't really wear out. Why were our garments dirty? What exactly was going on? And they know the garments grew with us. As a child grew in the desert, the garments grew with them. So what's going on? And what exactly is Moshe talking about when he says we need to clean the garments? So just like the garments that we wear, just like our clothing that we wear, it shows who we are, how we want to present ourselves, how our image to the outside world, whether if we're going you know, to a wedding, we dress a certain way. If we're going to a beach, we put on a bathing suit. Depending on where we're going and what we're doing depends on what our garments would be. And just like a body has garments of clothing, the soul, your soul also has garments. And what they say the soul's garments are is the thoughts that you have while you're doing it, the actions that you're actually doing, and how you voice it and how you verbalize it. So, and how does that react? Because now, what? how should the people, you know, you when the person is doing, when we want to connect to God, we want to just like make sure physically our body is clean and we're dressed appropriately, just like when we were going to get the Torah. The same thing, when we're going to do one of God's commandments, if God tells us, you know, to do X, Y, and Z, to honor our parents, or to give, you know, to donate food, or to give charity, we should make sure, we should verbalize it, that we're giving charity because God wants us to give charity, you know, because God commanded it. And we should also have the right thought and intention that this charity is going to help pers- help the people and help the individuals, you know, to have them get closer to God and help facilitate their lives. Um, and we should actually go and do it. You know, we shouldn't just give, you know, lip service. So we have to make sure when it, when he says that we should clean our outer garments before we got the Torah, these are not only our spear, physical garments, but these are our spiritual garments. So we have to have our mindset and our thoughts and our speech and our clarity that we should do things in, in the way that Hashem wants it to be done, not just random and just, you know, show up to a wedding in a bathing suit. We should make sure that that we're dressed appropriately when we're doing the, the will of when the will of Hashem.